Good morning, it is Clay at ClayTrader.com. This will be a live trade video where I try to capture some of my trades as they unfold live. Market opens up in less than a minute, so let's see what happens. Have an order to go short, oh, I got in there, and out there for $75 um, in a matter of seconds. I apologize if you missed that entry point, or I don't think I missed the entry point. Maybe I did. Have my next order at 52.45, so if this move wants to make another attempted break of the $52 mark, I'll be ready for it, and it's looking like it wants to give it a try. Again, 52.45, my first entry point. I'd like more than 500 shares, but I'm not gonna turn down a $75 bill if it wants to give it to me, so let's see if it can make its way up there. All right, going for the break of 52. And there is the break. So like I said, now it's a matter of seeing if it can get up to 52.45. Okay, I'm in and out for another $75. And as you saw, that happened very quickly. Let's go to 52.75 and we'll start that process over again. So 52.75, I want more than 500 shares, but if it wants to give me the $75 bill, then I will gladly take it. So we'll see if it can break up through 52.50, that'll be the first key break. Have order at 17.75 on HOME here. Actually, I want to go down to 17.55. Keep in mind, I am looking at things on other monitors, so not every single decision is being based off of what you see. But 7.55, first order for 500 shares, and let's see if it can work its way down. I have an order at 17.05. I very well might miss it because this one is getting pretty jumpy, but I at least want to get it documented. So 17.05, entry point. Have an order at 61.85 here on ROKU Roku. Went down as low as 61.91, and that was the move I was looking for. So at this point, just gonna have to change it down to 61.75. So we'll see if we can just get a tad more downwards pressure to take it to that point or not. All right, making another move. It's trying to get down there. And then back above 90, so never mind. Well, there it goes again. Stopped, or it actually hit, there we go. So I'm in at 75, would like more than 500 shares, but if it wants to give me the, well, it's giving me a partial. It's giving me 137 of the 500 that I wanted. So let's see if it wants to give me the opportunity at some more, or if it's just gonna give me that $50. All right, I have 363 shares left. So I'm just, uh oh, what did, uh, you bozo. All right, so now I am short 261. So I need to just get out there. Uh, Clay, it's nobody's fault but your own. Nobody's forcing you to do these live trade videos. All right, I mean, it's 61 shares. Let me just hop out there. So that was a total train wreck. Uh, I still got uh, $50 on the trade. Um, let me get my next order in there. So 61.25 in case this one wants to flush again. 
Definitely double checking, which I failed to do clearly on that previous order and created a little bit of a mess for myself, but there we go. I'll start the process over again if it wants to give me another flush to the downside. So 61.25, next first entry point. All right, nearing potentially 61.25. And now back up above 40. So we'll see. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up. I'll be fully transparent and honest here. I don't wanna post this video. I'm going to because I realized this video made me look like kind of an idiot with that last trade, but it is what it is. I mean, that's the life of a trader. And if, there's, if, if one of you can learn to remember to double check your orders before you submit them, like I did not do, so if that can help you out, then great, because at the end of the day, I still made 50 bucks. So if my $50 quote unquote mistake can uh, just offer up a reminder to you um, as a trader to just, as simple as just double check your orders, then I'll consider this a success, but I fully plan on some trolls showing up, which is fine. I mean, there's a lot of professional YouTube traders out there in the comment section that uh, will let me know how bad of a trader I am and how, how, how just terrible I am, but it is what it is, but I don't want to post this. It's it's kind of embarrassing the way that last trade went, but it is what it is. In all seriousness though, um, before I go, if you did enjoy the video and you want me to keep making these, the easiest way to um, communicate that to me, click that like button, subscribe to the channel. If you're interested in trading alongside me and other uh, uh, traders, then you can go to claytrader.com. I offer an online community there, the inner circle, $99 per year. If you do the math, it's $8.25 per month, or if you break down the math even further to per week, $1.90 per week. So as I always say, over the time span of 12 months, I'm quite confident you're gonna get at least $99 of value, and uh, most traders make that back within their first trade. But again, it's not like I'm setting the bar super high at uh, just $99 for an entire year, but check that out. If you wanna learn how to trade with charts and build a strategy for you using technical analysis and charts, I offer all, also offer a course on that at uh, claytrader.com so you can go and check that out. But all in all, yeah, just remember to double check your orders, but uh, it is what it is, I hope you enjoyed. And like I said, if you want me to keep making these and uh, keep making a fool of myself from time to time, then just click that like button and subscribe to the channel. One of the biggest questions that I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point and best part, it's completely free. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.